ITV.ie and Irish News Radio. Today is Monday, so we'll be talking about the financial mess, but in general, the mess of Ireland um, and the very, very sad situation that we are in. The destruction and the end of Ireland as we are watching it um, unfold and, and nobody doing anything. But, you know, this, this uh, there's a saying, a nation of sheep have a government of wolves and that really applies to Ireland. That is who we are. We who are a nation of sheep. So called fighting of Irish, I think well gone. Nation of sheep is what they are. They wanted this diversity, this rainbow thing, and they were sheep and the government were wolves. So we go through what's happening. Um Soros group putting pressure on Poland um and the EU for o- open borders so the eu again are trying to pick apart countries that are trying to save their country from this destruction uh so sorrows behind groups putting money behind that to try and you know normal bullshit shouting down racist bigot fascist all the names that we've heard are all bloody sick of listening to it but it's just insane um but you know, I do believe Poland and a lot of Eastern Europeans will not care about the names. They will save their people. Um, Italy rejected, among other other Eastern Europeans. So Italy getting behind Poland and Hungary and different people. And you can see Austria and all of them kind of coming together, which is a good positive thing. Not, not for Ireland, because we're course we're on the wrong side but there's definitely countries coming together and there is positive things coming from that part of Europe um, and hopefully it'll spread across or they will get their own army to come and save the rest of us whose governments are destroying us with the EU. There was 90,000 increase into Ireland. Now they call it a population growth. It's not a bloody population growth. It's nothing to do with our population. It's a plantation is what it is. Like a population growth is when the Irish are like making babies mad and you know producing loads of children. These are all non-Irish, mainly Islamic and Africans. They are nothing to do with our population, our culture, our heritage, our history, or anything to do with this land. It is, a, as I said, a plantation. Unbelievable. Of course, they call it a population growth. There's nothing to do with our population. It's ridiculous. Um, the Irish are becoming a party in our own country. And it's been celebrated by the left, the far left government and the leftist scumbag that run this country, celebrating the end of homogeneity in Ireland, the end of the Irish race. And this so-called mixed race that will be mainly Africans, North Africans and Islamic. And that will be the end. And they're celebrating it, of course. Suppose the child killer is complaining about scouting Ireland. Now, that's pretty worrying because I actually do think she's a paedophile. There's something very fucking perverse about that woman. She's not quite right. I mean, someone who brought in abortion, extreme abortion into Ireland um, and her views on it is quite disturbing. She's quite a, a weird character. She gives me the shivers. Um, now, you can guarantee they're, they're talking about no overnight places unless there's enough adults there but I worked in scouting and there was always a certain amount you couldn't even bring a child to a toilet on on your own there had to be two what she really wants to break down is the Christian values that go with scouting Ireland and with the with the scouts altogether now scouts is already mixed as in there's females now in it it used to be you know um brownies for girls or girl guides um which was one was catholic and one was protestant or you know um boys was scouts and i don't know if they had a catholic aversion i know the the girl guides was catholic and the brownies was protestant but now it's mixed but it's still very much a christian ethos and it's very much um 
you know, it's, so that's what she wants to break down. She wants to bring in her gay values and her rainbow bloody colour. So the whole scouting of Ireland will be Indian and Africans and there'll be the odd Irish showpiece there. But it will be because of so-called population growth. You will very rarely see an Irish child now in this so-called scouting Ireland that she's going to destroy like everything else that the government is willing and wanting to destroy the homogeneity of Ireland. Population growth, the plantation, the more favourite rakes, the Irish are not welcome in Ireland again by the government this time. So Brexit looks like 27 day, 27 days to go and it looks like there's going to be a no deal. The British themselves are screaming for a no deal. I think the British government are trying to get something together that will keep the British population happy. And unlike the Irish government, they seem to act want to get the British population behind them with whatever deal they want. The Irish government couldn't care less what the Irish people think on their new population growth from the third world. Yes, did anybody ask the Irish, did they want a population growth from the third world? No, no, nobody cares what the Irish think about their towns and villages being invaded by this population growth from the third world. Plantation. I wouldn't mind, they say it's, you know, some people are saying it's cheap labour. They don't work. Most of them are all on social welfare and have three or four wives and have don't even speak English and are abusive, violent, all males of a young age that should be back in Syria or wherever if they're supposed to be from Syria, go back and save their country and build it up because Assad and, and these, the Syrian women have called for them to come back. And what they really are is economic migrants who don't speak English, who have no intention of working, who see the great benefits that you get in Ireland and think that they should get them as well. Although our ancestors and Irish people have paid and worked hard to pay for it. They think that they have an every entitled. Now this is sad for other countries that come in who are um, European and who have worked, which like Poles and Croatians and all Eastern Europeans who are genuinely very hard working people and speak English and who integrate. Now people are saying, oh, you know, uh, the Poles shouldn't be calling themselves Poles because they should be now calling themselves Irish. What a ridiculous statement to say. The Polish are Polish. They don't just, uh, like anybody else, like the stupid North Africans and Indians breathing in the Irish air and now say they're Irish. You don't just become a new ethnicity. It's not something you buy. It's not something you can change and swap. They are Polish and they have every right to be proud of Polish. Any more than if I went to Poland and started claiming I was, you know, now Polish because I was breathing in their air. It's such stupid statements. They are Polish and they have every right to say and be proud of Poland. That's not the issue or the problem. And they work hard, pay their taxes and are generally good people. There's not an issue. Unlike the Islamic race, or not really, not that it's a race, the Islamic group or the North Africans who are mainly Islamic, very rarely work, don't speak English, just take child benefits and may have three to four wives all on social welfare, but because they're not actually legitimate wives under the state, because Islam, you can marry someone and they can be divorced within a man saying, I divorce you three times. Now, a woman can't obviously do that because women have no rights in Islam, whether they're here or they're in an Islamic country. It doesn't make any difference, as you've seen in the United Kingdom. When they interviewed women who, from the grooming gangs who were married to these disgusting, horrible men, and you know, the, the, the sad thing is, yes, they talked about their sex life and that that was normal, that they were raped and they don't understand, they don't understand the meaning of consensual sex. They don't have that understanding. So it's very difficult to actually get anything, but they will literally knock the girls as in they were dirty, white trash. They dress terrible because they're not going around in a burqa and hijabs. And these are the women who also know what it's like 
to be abused and raped all the time. But they, the problem is, whether you live in England or you live in an Islamic country or you live in Ireland, if you're born into that way, there's very few of them who actually understand that that, that is wrong, that rape is wrong, that violence towards women is wrong. And that she shouldn't be born as a slave because that is their mentality. So I'm sorry that that they don't integrate. Where Polish and other Eastern European, there's not much difference between our culture. So of course they can integrate, but they they should have every right to call themselves Polish or wherever they are or Croatian or wherever, and they should be proud. Why shouldn't they? No one should take that from them or have the right to take that from them. So that that's what's happening with that. Um. As I said, 27 days to Brexit, and it looks like the British are crying out for a no deal. Um, and the Merkel and the moron control over the EU will hopefully fall apart once the British leave. It'll be interesting to see if the Eastern European countries are sticking together. And I really do have hope for them that, you know, that, that it, 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 they are making things a lot better. Um, and the French and German hopefully control will loosen once the British have gone because there will be less money in in the EU. Well, hopefully it will fall apart. I don't think there's less control will. But um, it will hopefully weaken the EU because it's a mess. Fianna Gael, Fianna Fáil, the whole lot of them are all the same horrible, horrible party, as I keep telling you. But they're now terrifying older people with with this home downside is being plans and otherwise they're coming to get your home because they have the new population the favorite population of the africans indians and wherever they get them third world countries to replace the older generation because they have now decided that they have done their usefulness they're actually not useful to the state anymore so off they go and die or do whatever you have to but give these nice homes to this third world population group which has nothing to do with our population growth and never work and get benefits so they take these beautiful homes off the irish people and give them to the third world who run them down and take benefits yes the irish new ireland and you're not even allowed to talk about it we will be called the white the 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 white population we're not even called we are the irish population but we're now called the white the new irish have no irish blood no irish history no irish culture no idea of who or what ireland is about are called the new irish it's an absolutely disgrace and a joke and it's heartbreaking to see this country like this um and they forget the government forgets the the uh, the aging population were the ones who built it built ireland and this is why we have ireland and this is why ireland is a success it's because of the aging population not no migrants none of them not one, not the migrants have built up Ireland. It, it was the aging population. And at that time, there was no rainbow Ireland. And they are the ones who worked bloody hard. So we have a future. Not the third world. Thank you for listening again on the Bonnery Show on ITV.ie and Irish News Radio. Tomorrow is Gruesome Tuesday. So we'll be talking about Islam and the gruesome side of islam which is all gruesome um people who want to reform islam which there has been some imams and stuff be impossible you'd have to rip the whole book up and start again so thank you very much for listening again if you want to say anything um you want to talk about anything get in touch talk to you tomorrow have a good evening Listening to Irish News Radio at irishnews.net. Email news at irishnews.net.